Hey everybody. Well, I'm going to be putting a solar fan inside the greenhouse here. Uh, the temperature inside the greenhouse, the door shuts about 95 degrees. Outside temperature is uh, 48 degrees. And I know from experience that I've killed plants in a greenhouse that's been too hot. It's one of those little, had one of those little plastic things. Didn't open it up during the day and it just baked all my starts and I was pretty upset. Uh, that was several years ago. Since then, I've learned about ventilation inside the greenhouse. So I'm going to be using a solar fan that I purchased from Amazon. It costs about $25. I have a dryer vent here that will open when it gets uh, air blown on it for the intake. And then I also have a little angled uh, ventilation duct here. So let's get to it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the board I'm going to be using for my vent exhaust so that way I know how much I have to work with. Now if you see right here real close I still have a gap here I haven't filled that in with silicone that way I know where the board is going across and now I can take this one out and I'll go around and do the same thing to the other one on the other side. Now I know what I have to work with. I'm going to mark the inside circle on here so I know where to cut. So I got a spot to put this vent through. Also, if you notice here, I don't want it to overlap and uh, get bound on any of the uh, uh, wood that's already up there. All right, so it's a little windy outside, so I'm going to go ahead and just clamp this down, do it inside here the greenhouse. I have my old uh, Black & Decker uh, two-speed jigsaw I'll be using just to cut the hole out. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is give myself a little start here. Be careful if you're using uh, old fence boards like I am. Because your screw will, uh, or excuse me, your uh, drill bit will move all over the place. Let's go ahead and get this cut out. See how that fits. Just got a little bit of trimming up to do on it. Right around there. Missed it a little bit. There we go. Nice fit. Get the other one done. Bring it back in a second. Alright, so I had to go and hunt down some really small screws. Uh, out of my junk drawers that I have and I'm going to screw this into place now it gave me an easy time cutting through because I'm using such thin uh, wood also gives me a problem so now I have to trim out all of this because otherwise, the fan will try to stop itself. So let me go ahead and trim this down. All right. So I'm using a hand hacksaw. So I can go through this fairly quickly. And it's not, you know, it's a little brittle. It's not too bad. But I'd rather uh, not just break the whole thing, so that's why I'm using the hand-powered the, uh, hand hacksaw. Well, that looks terrible, but 
did the job I needed to do. Let's go ahead and knock the other one out. I haven't used a hacksaw for quite a while. That one's in, this one's in. Put the screws back in. Alright, so that's all set. Let's go ahead and mount the fan on the other side. Go ahead and unplug this. So these fans, they push this direction. So if you look at your cord here, and we're going to put it on just about like that. Make sure we don't have any of our overlap spots there. And now I'm going to go get some uh, different size wood screws. Just generic. Put some of these in. And okay, so we got this on. I'm going to test out the other fan really quick just to make sure it's working. So I just took it out of the box. It's a good fan. You can feel the air underneath. Do the same thing on this side. Definitely. Now for the tough part, putting this on properly. And looky here. Well, I am not set up right. How'd I do this one? Oh, I did this one correctly. I did this one wrong though. Flip it. Alright, now we can put this in. Should be enough uh, sunlight today to get this thing to open up when I'm blow when I turn it on. And I am feeling the wind through here. Of course, the sun's just about ready to go behind a couple uh, trees. But I can feel the wind coming through. Actually, the sun's going behind a cloud right this second. The real key on this part right here is if you have a strong wind coming and it's cold wind, it'll blow it that way. Oh, there we go. Sun just came out from behind the cloud. That thing is kicking now. But the whole key is, if the wind is blowing at you, you don't want the wind to bring cold air into the greenhouse when you're trying to keep it warm, but you want it to be able to blow the hot air out when it gets too hot and the sun's out. Now 
Yeah, that's working great. Let's put the other one on. So for mine, I'm going to be putting on this uh, directional duct. And what that's going to do is if the wind hits it straight on, it won't keep the louvers closed. So the wind will pass by and not push it closed. So on the hot days when the wind's blowing, it'll still be able to cool off the inside of the greenhouse. Also, the cold wind, if it comes, it has to actually make a couple turns before it can make it in. So it's less likely we're going to get some cold air coming into it. To put the directional duct on, I'm going to be using something, duct tape. You don't get a chance to use duct tape as often as you want for ducts, unless you're uh, into the AC and R business. So this is sort of fun using duct tape on a duct. And be careful when you're doing this, because the ends are sharp. angle this in the way that I want it. There we go. Alright, second one's done. I'm going to go mount it back in. So when I started to put my uh, wood back together, I realized that it couldn't quite fit in there angling it in so I had to uh, pop off the uh, vent flap and then it fit just fine dandy so now I'll reinstall the vent flap all right the outside on this one's all ready to go and this one went in a lot easier so here's how it looks on the inside I uh, just need to hook up the solar panel and uh, I've been contemplating whether or not to put it on the inside or the outside I'm thinking if I put it on the inside I only lose a little tiny bit of the power and I'll have to make sure that the roof stays clean but it'll keep these solar panels a lot uh, newer not to mention they don't look like they're watertight Alright, well I decided to do these inside because I'd rather have them last longer, not to mention they're not fully watertight. So in order to make sure that these things last for longer, I'm going to be putting them in right here. And just connect them in. A little awkward working up here like this. Grab the cord. And presto. All right, so for this one right here, I put it in uh, on the back, a little bit farther back, a little bit higher up. It's not on one of these uh, cross beams like it did the other one over there. But I'm going to see how it does. Right now, the uh, clouds have rolled in a little bit. So we got a little bit of a cloud out there. Still, uh, it's spinning. Uh, I can feel the air being pulled out. Working pretty good. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Push the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.